When you meet someone and you chat with them for just a few minutes, but there's an obvious connection there and you have a lot of fun together, can that be considered an insta date? Uh, or do you need to have like an official meetup for it to count? Yes. I think, yeah. Really? I mean, it could be a hangout, it can be the first meeting, but it's not a date. It's just a conversation. I disagree. Yeah. I think it is like an insta date is considered a real date. Because mm. I've had many, many experiences that you wouldn't call a by the books pre prepared hangout. Okay. And next thing you know, all the paper towels are gone from the dispenser, ah. and you're both calling the maintenance guy asking What's for that? assistance. <laughs> Why is there a, why? Why is there a maintenance guy I don't want to know. I don't, I don't expect you guys to show. understand how fun works, but <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'm just saying oh. I think that counts, and that's oh. why okay. we got in touch with one of our <laughs> listeners who said that she had an Insta date recently. Her Ooh. name is Amanda. So are you the clingy one in the relationship like Jeffrey is, Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll see, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, you and I are on the same page, Amanda. Okay. But for my clued out co-host over here, oh. why don't you tell us what happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I met this guy, Zach, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. My friend Claire, her job is super cool and trendy. And they, they usually have like a happy hour, like a work happy hour. Oh, like her company is one of those that mm -hmm. was like, Fun. as yeah. much food as you want. Oh, All the vacation so time so and jealous. we constantly drink together. Goals. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Her friends are much cooler than me. But that's why I went. Okay. <laughs> and I, like I said, I met this guy, Zach, and he was extremely good looking. Oh. And I don't usually go up to guys, but I mean, it just was the atmosphere. We went to like this traditional cowboy bar. Mm. Oh. Traditional. Oh. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> A dive bar, I think, yeah. is what you yeah. mean. What? Probably one with like line dancing and country music and stuff. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like the the bar stools were uh, horse saddles oh, yeah. and like Cute. there was a merry-go-round. <laughs> yeah, mechanical bull. Yeah. There was. There yeah, was. Yeah, now it's yeah. a real Fun. cowboy bar. So you said that you were the one who actually went and approached him. Like, what did you what did you do? Yeah, How did that well, interaction happen? Well, here's the thing. I went next to him, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. say that I, you know, I kind of gave myself a little more credit, but okay. <laughs> you didn't want to look like you were too aggressive too with thirsty. it. Too thirsty, right. exactly. But it's a good move, right? Like yeah. somebody stand in the bar, you go stand directly next to Just, them. I imagine you bumping into him by accident over and over. Oh, <laughs> my shoulder keeps hitting. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that worked because we ended up talking. And here's the thing. I didn't know that a lot of people like to ride horses really until social media. You know, like I thought it was more of a thing that like. Just your, rich you people. and your family I does? I did. I thought it was more just my thing. Oh, no. I thought it's a rich person Wait, thing. if yeah. you do it. Oh, because she does like probably, you know. Um, she's like an equestrian oh, no. yeah, an equi rider. Yeah, she's not a Western style lady. Yeah. So you're into horses and you didn't expect him to be also a yeah, and so we got we started talking, and I brought up a story of when I was younger, and it was going so well that he ended up spitting some of his drink out because he, I made him laugh so hard. Oh, really? really? Hey, <laughs> that's okay. good. Yeah, it was just about, I brought up a story when I was younger, my favorite horse, he was like slower, he was older, uh -huh. and he was kind of chubby. But they called him Waffle Face. Waffle Face? <laughs> Wait, they called him Waffle? I didn't that was the name it. of the horse? That was the name of the horse, yeah. Oh, I love him. And that's what made him laugh so hard? Yeah, yeah. Must have had to have been there. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. So you guys bonded over horses. That's cool. Yes, yeah. And you, unfortunately, he said he had to go. So it was like 20, 30 minutes of us talking. Mm. Uh, but right before he left, there was this Britney Spears song that came on at the country bar <laughs> she's a louisiana girl I mean. yeah. you gotta switch it up a little <laughs> you remember the song hit me baby one more time yeah never know i don't know yeah never heard uh, it. <laughs> started doing the dance and he started he followed me he was doing the same dance as i was doing it Whoa. Oh. okay that's an obvious sign of attraction when a guy is mirroring you. Yeah. That's a sign that he's actually into <laughs> what you're doing. Or he puts his hair up in pigtails yeah. and gets the skirt on and is like all about it. Did you check in with your friend Claire? Because Claire works with him, right? Like that's how you guys all met. Yeah. So here's the thing. Right before we left, I was brave enough to ask him for his number. Okay. I was okay. like, it's not every day that someone dances 
like mirrors you dancing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you lassoed him up. That's and you cool. Uh, oh yes, I did. Well, let's hope because I. This is where you guys come in. I texted him a couple days after, and he said he was busy, but that he wished that he could hang out. So okay. I waited a couple days after that. And he never texted me back after oh, I texted him not good. again. Hmm. Yeah. And so you brought up Claire and I asked her and she doesn't know. So it was a friend of a friend. So oh. his friend brought him. Yeah. I see. So it's not someone that works with her that she could. Okay. Well, we have some information to work with here. We're going to play a song, come back and call your Horse loving cowboy Zach. Can I request that we don't play the Britney Spears song? Oh, I would love to hear it. Are you joking me? I don't, I don't want to dance. No, please. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see what this horse loving guy has to say when we ask for a yeah. second date. Is okay. it going to be a yay or a nay? Oh, oh Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe an oh, baby. Uh, it sounds funny no. as well. No. Yeah, no. Well, that was funny. <laughs> we'll do a second date update next. Saddles for seats. Boots for drinks what? and a mechanical bowl that's been out of order for the last decade. Oh my god, why are they always out of order? Seriously. <laughs> Sounds like every single country dive bar within a 10,000 mile radius yeah. that I just described yeah. there. But that's where one of our listeners went recently. Her name is Amanda, and she met a very well put together, good looking man named oh. Zach while she was there. <laughs> the two of them vibed over horseback riding stories and even danced to an old Britney Spears song. Yeah. <laughs> very country. Like I said yeah. earlier, this was an insta date. It wasn't something that they had planned to meet up beforehand. Right. Yeah, they just no. ran into each other. So we don't know if Zach is technically even single or what's going on. Well, That's what I was thinking. He, he did. Said, yeah, but he texted her back that he was excited to see her. Yeah. He said, like, I wish I could see you. Oh. She was and that could moves. also mean, I could though, see. I you wish could. I could see you. It means I can't see you because I have a girlfriend. But why wouldn't he just say that? Because dudes still like to be hit on. Okay, <laughs> good point. We're going to call him and we're going to see what he meant by that. And, Brooke, you've been skeptical and bitter throughout most of this so far so <laughs> what are your thoughts before we reach out to zach i mean i just don't want you to be too invested amanda you know that's Ooh. hopeful well i don't i you know it's like what my mom taught me you know you you plan for the worst hope for the best right that's a good lesson mom what a yeah. fun household to grow yeah. up in. <laughs> <All right. laughs> amanda how are you feeling you feeling a little optimistic I, I definitely am, but like you guys said, that has been something that Claire and I have been discussing, and I mean, it wouldn't put it past him, because right. he seems, I mean, he's such a catch, right? Like, right. Well, let's get some answers from horse-loving cowboy Jack. Zach. Let's do it. Oh, he should be Jack, though. It's a much better cowboy It is a name. better cowboy right. <laughs> All right, Zachary Zach, here we go. Yeah. You gotta remember that. Zach, Zach, here we go. Dollar's number right now. Hello. Hey, is this Zach? Uh, yeah. Hey. Wait. Je Jeff? What? How do you what? know that it's Jeffrey? This is, uh, this is Jeff, right? Yeah. Oh my God. What's up? Why are you, why are you calling me? I'm calling from a radio show. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Yeah, I, I know what you do. We talked about it one night. What? What? Oh, Wait, what? you, Jeffrey, now you're starting to freak me out. Are you joking? You don't know I this know, guy? I can't tell. We know each other? Uh. Yeah, you know Zach from the uh, bar we met like a month ago? Are you just wasted uh, every weekend? Do you not remember? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Jeff, why Why are all these people on the line? What's up? Well, no. We're I, coworkers. Yeah. We're, <laughs> I'm, radio at, show I'm at work and we're we're doing something right now, you know? That's how the show works. Okay. Okay. So you're just, you're just doing your show? Yeah. <laughs> what? So awkward. What? That's that's cool, man. That's really cool. We should uh we should hang again, you know? Oh. It was really fun last time. Uh, nice. Yeah. Why are you Jeff. so red, Jeffrey? I I don't know. Any Zach. Let's talk friends. to Zach. Uh Zach, we need to talk to you about something else. Uh we do a segment called a second date update. Oh my god, you're so uncomfortable. And there's Brooke, stop it. Uh, there's a girl named Amanda <laughs> who reached out to us. She said that she met you at a happy hour the other night. Uh okay. Hi, Zach. Oh. Yeah, so uh that that's her. 
This is like a. This is more of a business call. This Zach. is a, been a pleasure. This call. Is not going how it normally goes. No, I'll this is not right how now. we normally do it. We're yeah. all confused. You Amanda, have one flustered host over there. Amanda, <laughs> several, I think. Amanda yeah. wanted our help to find out from you if you would be interested in seeing her. What? Okay, hold up. You're, yeah. So you're saying Amanda called you to call me? Yeah, that, that's how this works. It's called a second date update. So this is just this is just like a, a random thing. That's the only reason you're calling. Yes, it's just for our listener <laughs> Amanda, and not well, for anything I, else. I don't know. This, this is kind of new for me, but I I felt like we had just great energy. I feel like we clicked. <sighs> Remember, um, Zach? You guys talked about horses at the country bar. At the country bar, and remember Waffle Face. Her favorite fat horse it from when she was little. Uh, yeah, yeah. That I was. Yeah, it's just having a, a normal conversation. Oh. Um, Didn't we have I, I a blast? Um, yeah, we got along great, Amanda. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't. Uh, uh, just the tone alone. The what was wrong? Are you not attracted to Amanda? Um, I no. She's uh, she's very beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm really attracted to you, too. Oh, oh wow. She's just coming out and saying it. I like it. I don't, I don't know if that's <laughs> what I said. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I know yeah. you're shy, Zach. I just figured maybe <laughs> I could take the reins here and jump on on and see. If- you oh, almost dang. finished that. It's a yeah. little cowboy reference I for guess. you. <laughs> Zach, how does that sound? Uh, I'm not shy. Um, uh, yeah, so, Amanda, you're, you're, see, we have a lot in common. You yeah. love riding horses, and so do I. We were dancing to Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like oh, I, I just love his responses. <laughs> you seem really, you seem really cool, and it's it's kind of like you know if. Uh, you know, if I was, if I really wanted, uh, if I, <laughs> I would have reached out or I, I would have found, you know, like, I, okay. Amanda, so you not- seem great. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, you're not, you're not quite my type. Okay. That right. was, well, that that's was very yeah. clear. At least yeah. he's blunt to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, are you disappointed in this phone call? Oh, oh um, uh, greatly actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I did not see this coming. This is all making sense now, though. It does oh, make sense. What to you? makes sense, Jeff? Explain. You know, with just like the interest in horses and the Britney Spears dancing, and oh. I think Zach, I'm... you told me that like I can change my hair if I'm not like if, if this color is not okay for you. Like she I don't mind get it. the fashion tips. It's yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> okay, so just... Zach, this isn't for you. Um, in so many ways, yeah. Okay, okay. cool. Oh, okay, we Sometimes, got it. So, like, yeah. Zach, is it just because you're not in the right spot, or that maybe? No, I... Yeah, no, well, no. let's go with that one. Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I um, I don't know what to say. Just yeah. ask. I do. You got to finish it, man. You got to ask oh, yeah. for the second date. That's to do my do. job over here. Yeah, um, it's a friend date. Stop so, being weird. So, uh, what we do on this segment, Zach, is we offer to send you and our listener out on another date. So that would be you and Amanda <laughs> going out, and we would pay for it. Yes. Zach, come on. It'll be a blast. I'll change what I wear. Like, I don't... I just feel like our energy... <laughs> what? Put on a beard? <laughs> too good to give up or to ignore. So, please give me a second chance. Mm. Oh, Zach, no. offers on the table. I think you need to be more blunt. Uh, Amanda, girly, no. <laughs> <laughs> that alone should. Don't oh, change your hair. Don't change your hair for some guy. This isn't grease. <laughs> Grease, I love you. All right. Really yeah. like well, it. we should probably stop talking. You should hang out with Zach more. No, yeah. I don't Zach. think so. I just, I'm sorry. Jeff. You what? Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I, I, I will be expecting a phone call from you. You should hey! do that. Hey! Don't do that to me. Don't, Zach. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> okay, I'm ending this now. Oh, I love it. That's your second date update. There we go. And we, no wow. date. All right. Definitely we're, no date no, with them. We're out of here. Bye. <laughs>